Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand episode of MCA Reborn, or not Reborn, MCA Plus, we're using the MCA Reborn mod. Bleh. Um, Kitty. That's a new name, I don't remember seeing that name in the village before. Anyways guys, so today, I've gone through the model list, I've gone through, there's not too too much left we have left to do. We can basically have shown off most of what we can do with power. There's reactors in power, but that's really for power. Uh, I could go into Productive Beast, but I'm really not feeling it right now. So, there's another mod that's back. Pretty fun mod, I feel like, in my opinion. Where we can make reactors uh, another way. So, I'm just looking at the mods we have left in this pack that we can go through. And it's basically this or another mod. And we might as well get started on this. We, we got to do is we got ourselves, got ourselves some graphite. You can already see from the mod name there what mod we're going to be playing with today. Um, Which is, some of you guys probably like, ooh, I like that mod. And some of you guys probably be like, ah, uh, yes. Booms and booms. I'm be using a lot of uranium today. Um, the only reason why I'm using this over the power reactor, uh, I mean, basically, if you guys can tell, I'm making a big reactor. If um, I'm just using this over power as a reactor because of the fact that I don't really want to have to fuel the power reactor because I'm not doing going too far into AE2. I actually don't plan to go any further other than making drives as needed, which I don't know how much longer we're going to be going for because I don't even really have plans to go to the end or anything like that. I could go for like angel rings and stuff, but I really don't have to. Um, I could do protective bees, but I don't really have a reason to go into because I'm not really doing anything to whatever. I was originally planning to maybe go a little bit more automated the series, but in the end I decided to kind of against it. So I don't really feel like doing all that stuff right now, especially with AE because AE's just been acting up on me and I can't get service quartz. That's the big reason, driving reason why. So it's just that AE's not the same way I remember it. So we're going to make a big reactor. Let's get on that. At bigger, the mod is actually called bigger reactors. Um, there's a few things we're gonna need. We're gonna need a reactor power tap. Probably gonna want reactor glass. Gonna need this coolant manifold, I believe. And a fuel rod, control rods. So actually, we don't might we might not need this coolant manifold. I need casing, computer. No, we don't need a computer port. We need an an access port and a terminal. And that's all we need for the reactor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, some, I don't know what some of the stuff is, like heat exchangers and stuff. That must be new. I know what the cyanide reprocessor is, but... Okay, reactor terminal. I need reactor casing. We have uranium, so it's cool. So we need a good amount of reactor casing. Might as well just turn all our graphite into reactor casing right now. We're gonna need a reactor terminal. All right, we're gonna need at least one access port. Possibly two. We're probably gonna want two, not gonna lie. So let's get ourselves some chests. Should probably have some spare in there regardless. So yeah, let's get ourselves two... Um... Two access ports. Casings, what we have. We're gonna need control rod. Okay, we're gonna need more graphite. What really depends right now is how big we want to make this reactor. It's gonna determine a few different other factors about this build that we do here. So... Let's see. Let's... Let's, let's attempt... Maybe four control rods? Right? Actually, no, let's just go with one, because we could- we don't- the fuel rods and the controls are separate. So let's do a taller reactor. That's a lot in there that I can have. Only need a little bit of glass. Just enough to see inside of it, I'd say. So about... That much glass is actually really good. And we need a power tap to get power out of the reactor then. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot more of the casing. But we're going to start putting this together. So let's go to our basement. Actually, we're going to need um, pipe A's. So pipes, we're going to get power out of here. Um, we're going to want to get at least the basic pipe upgrade. Probably the improved pipe upgrade. <laughs> Likely the advanced pipe upgrade. Okay, we're going to have materials here. We're not going to need the right one, I don't believe. But we're probably going to want, again, the upgrades, as I'm saying. It's not like... This guy's going to be outputting a lot of power. We're gonna. This guy's going to be sitting more off than on. But it's just as a aside, hey, I want to do this because I can. We're not using too much power, so again, there's not really a good reason to do this other than we can. Uh, we have the resources for it. So, yeah. Here we go. Cool, so I'm just going to chuck you in there. Um, see what I can do. I, I, yeah, I know I'm going to need more reactor casing, so it's no reason trying to hold back on it. 24 for now. Seems good to me. Okay, let's go down here, and let's 
get started. So, well, I don't think we're going to have to be doing anything more with FTIC. So, it's more so it's going to be this reactor that we're going to be dealing with. Um, so, I guess I could do the reactor on this wall because we're not going to be doing anything anymore with FTIC. So, it's going to have to be at least be that wide. Right? We need to be able to do this with it. Actually, maybe we don't want to do... I was saying let's do I was thinking about doing it in the wall, but then I didn't realize that we don't want to do it in the wall because of the fact that um in the floor it might be better, but in the wall we we were gonna lose actually a side of access. So let's do it like this in the floor, right? And break you, right? I believe this is the, the right dimensions we're gonna want for this guy. Um we're gonna need a lot more though. Let's keep on going. We're gonna need it looks like good amount more of reactor casing because the reactor casing is like the, the frame of the reactor you know we do got to get a good amount of that if we don't get enough of that the reactor don't will, will not actually ever form even so boom one two three so we gotta actually put our fuel rods in here right one two I'm actually short by one i might be short by one so let's do this boom 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 let's do this i might have made a little bit of extra casing but that's fine Rather always have more than less. You know? Cool. So let's put down our control rod. And do that. Okay, so we'll do this side will be controller. I will put down the reactor glass right there. This is our viewing side. We're actually on our back side to probably be all reactor casing because of the fact that we're not gonna be looking into it from this side. Um or near side the power comes out of, so let's do the power ship there near, near the top on this side. And now we need is we need um, an access port and an access port. Put one of those in there. Which I probably want to actually put you up there. So actually, I need one more set of um, casing then. So actually, we didn't go overboard on casing. Wow, it's the like the exact right amount of casing we need for this. In fact, what we want to do also. Oh, I can grab this down here. Just grab a ton of uranium. Boom. So we'll do just that there. And as you see, this forms pretty easily. We have a power output there. So what I want to do is I just want to kind of maybe string, string you around like so. There we go. Um, I'm going to put you there. Put you in there. That allows you to transfer a good amount. So now you see we need to put fuel in there and stuff. That's what these guys are for. We can pipe into them or we can do anything. Uh, we want you to actually output practical direction. Your output eject waste or eject fuel. Now I want you to eject waste. Manually eject waste. Uh, I guess we actually have to we might actually have to pipe into it. Which is not the, it didn't used to be the case. But if it is now it's fine. Chest. Oh. Give me CHSD chest. And then give me um, PIIP PI pipe PI pipe PI pipe. Um, let's go down one more. So we're gonna put down a chest there and a chest there. Boom boom. I'm actually gonna go in and you're gonna go out. I don't see like an input on you, so this one if I put you there. Are you gonna pipe into the reactor? Yes, we are. Okay, cool. I right, see that it turns on. So we have a status offline waste injection enabled. Or see that we don't have really anything going on right now. But if we turn you on. See, we're going to be making a ton of RF. We can hold 5 million RF in this boy. Or building up. Um, how much is he producing a tick? He's producing 3.1k RF a tick. Which, okay, so we're... Maybe we went a little bit overkill on this pipe. Uh, yeah, that's 30,000. And you're full, so actually we should turn you off. We're not using any of this power right now. But it's more so that we have this now if we ever need it. It's a pretty big kick in the, you know, the tush. So this guy only... Does what? 200, or does, yeah, 200 a tick. So, 3.1 versus 200 is a lot. Um, and this holds a good amount of uranium at a time. So, yeah. Just want to say, I can do that. We built a reactor, guys. Ain't that neat. Actually, what I would probably put, take you out, put you there. I don't know why I was holding that axe this whole time, but. Okay, cool. Well. Cool, so now we have a fun reactor in our basement for... You know, like throwing the kids in and all that fun stuff. You know, when they get a little rowdy, we just kind of open up the hatch and chuck them in there. Yeah, we have a good little actually bit of power in here that 
like a battery of like 1.5 million RF, which, yeah, I could do more with power if I want to, right? Because like I said, power has its own reactor, but the power reactors are like much harder to manage. And again, we're going to need to do a lot to get to them even. A lot of not fun stuff, a lot of just sitting here and auto or putting stuff in this orb. You could obviously update the upgrade the magmator, but when we have this now, which we could have made a long time ago, I should mention, I just didn't want to because it's like considered late game. It would have been, you know, like, you know, not even worthwhile to do this stuff. I want to have, like, an early game power setup or something like that. So, yeah. It's mainly because MC it kind of breaks the game progression in this pack. From a tech pack. But MC, but also, from other packs, you know, they kind of break each other's progression. Like, this, like, tech, and that's a very different style mod. So, yeah. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter all too much. We're basically at this point left where we have... Almost everything we could desire. Almost everything. Um, I, I don't even know, like, you know, what else I could want necessarily in this pack that I, you know, don't have. I have, like, so much aluminum. I have so much lead. Um, There's not, like, really mods out right now that I can use to, uh, like, you know, install to, to do differentiation here in this pack. And, like, just switching over to refined storage at this point, if we want to do that just for, like, an episode, it'd be, like, an episode-long ordeal, and it'd be... You know, just to change things up. So I'm not even going to do that. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, we don't have much left to do. I wouldn't say this is the end of the series, but I got to play with big reactors. Like, I haven't I haven't got to for the past time we've had, the past few times we had installed. I at least got to play with this time. I'm sad if I wanted to use it more, but I don't really have anything to use it for. So that kind of saddens me. <laughs> but I at least got to build a reactor this time, which makes me happy. Okay, cool. It's been a fun little episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed me building a little reactor. I wanted to build a bigger one at some point, but I don't really have a reason for it in the series. There's not really a reason for me to go anything bigger than this in the series. But yeah, until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.